In this video, I will be going over an example on how to reduce a matrix to its reduced row echelon form. So let's take this matrix A, as I have defined right here, and we want to reduce this using row operations to a reduced row echelon form. So let's go ahead and start with the Gaussian elimination. So we'll use this pivot first, and we will take row two and subtract row one, and then we'll take row three and subtract one half of row one. And what we end up with is two four two zero four negative one. Uh, two minus two is zero. Three minus zero is three. Four minus four is zero. And then we get a positive one right here. Then we look at the third row. We get a zero right here, a one right here, a zero right here, and a nine halves right here. So now. We'll use this guy as a pivot to knock out this one. So we'll take the third row and we'll subtract one third times the second row. So once we do this operation, we get two, zero, four, negative one, zero, three, zero, one. And then we have zero, zero, zero. And then we have nine halves minus one third, which is going to be 25 over six. So this matrix right here is the row echelon form, but now we need to get into the reduced row echelon form by making the pivots one and canceling everything above and below them uh, to zero. So we begin, let's take each row and divide by its pivot value so in this row we'll take row 2 and divide by 3 and we'll take row 3 and we'll multiply by a 6 over 25 so what we get is 1 0 2 negative 1 half and then we have 0 1 0 1 third and then 0 0 0 1 alright so this pivot doesn't have any non-zero entries above and below it, and neither does this pivot. Um, so our, our only other pivot is this pivot, so we just need to cancel out everything above it. And we can take the second row, and we could subtract one third times this third row, and then we could take the first row and add one half times the third row. And once we perform these operations, we get 1, 0, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 1. So we have this matrix, which is the reduced row echelon form, and the problem is complete.